Tonight, two teen brothers are telling Fox 40 that they're glad their mom got the maximum sentence for murdering their stepbrother. They detailed their experiences before an El Dorado County judge as he sentenced Lindsay Piper to 15 years to life for murdering her 11 year old stepson, Roman Lopez. Fox 40 Zach Boeto was in the courtroom and spoke with those brothers about that emotional journey. He joins us live now with some of those dramatic developments. Zach. Eric, tough to take for many in this courthouse today as stepbrothers, stepmothers, and grandmothers fought back tears to read their heartfelt messages about the torture that 11 year old Roman faced until his death. I was happy. Carson and Brock Garvin watched on as their mother, Lindsay Piper, was sentenced to 15 years to life in a state prison, the most possible for second degree murder. I'm glad that she got the maximum. I think that's what she deserves because she did an awful thing and she needs to pay for it. It was 11 year old Roman Lopez who she and her husband Jordan Piper are charged with killing. In their testimony, Roman's stepbrother said Piper would zip tie him to bedposts by his fingers. She would tie him up by his arms in the closet and force him to urinate in a bucket and would tell his other siblings to whip him with phone chargers. Both Jordan and Lindsay were also charged with torture, but because of a plea deal, that charge was dropped for Lindsay. It was kind of like, I guess, the dark ages in my life for then, and then for now, for that to be officially over. In that small respect, it's a nice feeling. This is the Placerville home where Lindsay Piper tortured and killed 11 year old Roman Lopez. Just hours after he was reported missing in January of 2020, authorities discovered Lopez's body in the basement of the home. Lindsay Piper's ex husband says today she got what she deserved. My boys beat her. Roman got justice in the best way that he could. That's not what he deserved. But he got justice and she was finally beaten. And my boys are the ones that did it and I'm proud of them. Small justice for Roman Lopez and his stepbrothers, but they say it pales in comparison to the torture they endured for years. I mean, it happened later than I would have wanted to, but I'm glad she got the maximum 15 years. And then obviously I really doubt there's a chance of her getting parole. Next, Lindsay's husband, Jordan Piper, who also faces torture and murder charges, will face the judge to find out his fate. Eric, a spokesperson for the Garvin family, wants the public to know how grateful they are for the El Dorado and Placerville law enforcement teams and their dedication and diligence to close this case. Reporting live from Placerville, Zach Boweto, Fox 40 News.